Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have my Sephora VIB sale haul, which is in this box. Um, I made a few orders, mostly because some things I wanted were out of stock, so I had to kind of make a few separate orders. But I finally got everything in today. I was just waiting for one more thing to film this video. I'll tell you what I'm wearing of the things that I purchased because I did try them on before filming so that I could have some sort of like thoughts to give you. Um, but we'll start with the like restocks because that's kind of boring, I feel. If you guys saw my makeup inventory video, <laughs> you might know I have a lot of makeup products and I am on a few no buys. So I'm not buying setting spray, primer, cream blush. Um, yeah, I think that's it for now and mostly I'm just trying to buy less makeup so when the Sephora VIB sale comes around I usually like to buy things that I know I'm going to use first of all or that I actually need so that's what these first things are. The first thing I needed to repurchase was my Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo I have recommended this in the past for like my VIB sale recommendations. I think this is amazing. It works really good. I have a very dry scalp, like I have dry skin, and I feel like this works really well because I don't wash my hair like every day. I actually only wash my hair like once or twice a week maximum, and my scalp gets itchy, but because it's so dry, I don't need like something to remove oils or anything. I actually just need something like to soothe my scalp and this really works. So it comes, the full size comes in this big jar, which I don't love that it's in a jar, but it is in a jar for a reason because it kind of like, once you have it for a while, it can start to separate. Like I guess the oils separate from everything else and you have to like remix it. So. I'm pretty sure that's why it comes like this. But yeah, I just love it. It smells really good. My hair feels super clean after using it, but it doesn't feel like stripped. So that's why I like it and that's why I repurchased it because I completed, I mean, I emptied out my other one. You'll see in my next empties video. And I like to buy it on sale because it is kind of pricey. I think it's like $53 Canadian for this. Um, the next thing, well, I guess everything else is a repurchase, not a repurchase, like a restock, but I wanted to try new things as I usually do. So I need it, I'm going to need a new shower gel. I'm almost done my Sol de Janeiro, the Bomb Dia Bright, is that what it's called? The pink one, I love it, but I always like to try new things. So I saw this one. I actually had this on my loves list for a while. It's from the brand Mode or Mod. Um, this is like a brand that makes feminine hygiene <laughs> products, I guess you would say. Like everything is like pH balance and all that kind of thing. But I mainly was attracted to this for the scent because it says amber, cedar leaf, clove, lemongrass, medjool date, and tonka bean. And that just sounds amazing. So this is a body wash and bubble bath. I'm going to use it as shower gel. And it smells amazing. It You can really smell the cedar, I find. And I love cedar wood. This is cedar leaf, so I'm not sure... If there's that much difference it still smells like cedar to me but yeah really excited to try this I've never tried anything else from this brand I just hope that it like lathers nicely and yeah so this will be my next shower gel um, I also this one is actually a repurchase the Brazilian crush 
Right, so this is the fragrance of that other shower gel I was talking about. But in the fragrance, it's called um, number 40, like Brazilian Crush Cherosa 40. And the scent is black amber plum and vanilla woods. So I think I bought this during the last holiday VIB sale. And I had mentioned in that video, like I always discounted these um, Sol de Janeiro body sprays because I just felt like I assumed they were all like very sweet, like gourmand scents, I guess, which I I like. But when I saw that this said Vanilla Woods on it, and my favorite, well, one of my favorite perfumes is Vanilla Woods from The Seven Virtues. I was like, oh, I have to try it. And then I became obsessed with it. <laughs> so I bought it again. I did buy this small size again because I am I have a lot of fragrances and I want to use them. So I didn't want to get the full, like the big size and then only use that and then have it around like forever, if that makes sense. That's my like project pan brain <laughs> coming into things. So I did just get the small size again. This is um, three ounces. I think the big size is eight ounces, but it is like $50 and this one's 31. So yeah, I don't use it up too quickly. Like I just finished the one I bought um, last year during like, I guess it was in November. So yeah. So I have a new one of these to start using. And I also got the um, deodorant. So right now I'm using the other deodorant from Sol de Janeiro, the, you know, like their famous one. I don't remember what it's called right now. <laughs> anyway, but I wanted to try this scent. Um, so it's the same, Black Amber Plum and Vanilla Woods. Let's actually smell this. I wasn't going to buy a new deodorant because I still have um, the other one, but I realized that I'm actually almost out of it and I figured now's a good time to get this one on sale. Oh, yes, that smells just like the fragrance. I find the shower gel smells like a bit sweeter than everything else, but yeah, very excited about this, um, but I don't need to start using it yet because I'm going to finish my other one first. And by the way, this is a aluminum free deodorant and it actually works. If you're wondering, I know sometimes it's hard to find like an aluminum free or natural deodorant that actually deodorizes and I really like this one. Um, the last thing that is kind of like a restock but not a repurchase because I've never tried it before I got the Belief SPF 50 Aqua Balm. Uh, the Belief Moisture Balm is my favorite moisturizer ever. So I figured I would like this. I'm also using the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm right now and I love it. So I think I just love most, if not all products <laughs> from this brand. Um, but the SPF 50 is from the Aqua Balm line, which is like, the one that's meant for more like oily skin, but I wanted to try it anyway because I wanted a moi sorry I wanted an SPF that is also a moisturizer because I don't like to have two separate products. Like usually I put my moisturizer on and then I put sunscreen over it, but I'm like I'd rather just have one product because. If I'm gonna wear makeup that day, by the time I get to all those things, I'm gonna have so much product on my face, like all my skincare and then my SPF and then a primer and then the makeup and it's like a lot. <laughs> so I figured I could combine those two things. Right now I'm using the Glow Screen, which I do really like and recommend also, but I wanted um, um, an SPF that is just like SPF. And a moisturizer like without the tinted glow part because sometimes when I use the glow screen then I'm like oh now I can't use like a glowy primer because it's gonna get too too much you know so I just wanted like a basic SPF anyway so I picked this one up I hope it's good it was 
This is the product I was waiting for forever because it came from BC. So fellow Canadians, when you order Sephora and it tells you it's being shipped from BC, like, yeah, you better, you know, expect to wait way longer than usual to get your product and it's probably going to get lost and yeah. <laughs> so this is the thing I was waiting for. It looks like this. It is like a very small, it feels like a small um, package, but there's actually 1.69 fluid ounces in here, so that's pretty average. Um, yeah, so it's just like a basic moisturizer with SPF 50 dermatologically tested. So I'm hoping I like it and it doesn't like break me out or anything, but I, I will uh, still continue to use my glow screen. Um, I only got the mini size of that and I don't have much left but on days where I don't want the glow aspect I'll use this one. I think that was it for like yeah restocks. These other things are just things I wanted to try. This will group the products. So I did get two lip products. Um, this one I really wasn't planning on getting, but Babs Beauty influenced me <laughs> to get this. This is from the brand Jisoo, or Gisoo, I don't know how to say it. I always want to say it Jisoo, because I thought it was a French brand, but I don't think it is French. I think it's from UK. It's made in the Netherlands. I don't know. Anyway. This is a honey infused lip oil and I was very intrigued by this but I never like bit the bullet because I figured it smelled like honey since it's honey infused but I watched Babs Beauty um, demo this and she said there was no scent so I was like oh in that case I need it. Um, this is a glass bottle and it's like nice and heavy. It feels very luxurious. It was expensive though. I think this was like $43. So if you were interested in this, get it while it's on sale because that is a lot for a lip oil. But it does feel like luxury. Um, yeah, so I, I did wear this a few times already because I was very like excited about it and I do really like it. I'm wearing it today but I have something else on top which I'll talk about. I feel like this is the shiniest lip oil in my collection and it's not like too slippery. It feels like kind of like a lip balm but mixed with oil. Like it's kind of like a thicker texture but it's not sticky at all it doesn't smell like honey if you're not into that so yeah I actually really like this um, and I'm glad I got it and it's just like so cute it came in this like really nice packaging so yeah I'm excited about this and the other lip product I got is also lip oil but it's a very strange lip oil. It's the Soft Pinch Tinted Lip Oil, the new product from Rare Beauty. So I think a lot of people are complaining about this product because it's not really a lip oil. It's like a lip stain. Um, I'm wearing it right now. I do really like the color I chose. I got the shade Joy. It's like a nice coral color which will be nice like for spring and summer. Um, yeah, it's not really a lip oil. <laughs> it's like a stain, like a gloss stain or like a hydrating lip stain. I feel like that's what they should have called it. Um, because I don't really get the oilness part and it is very pigmented as you can see. I did have the, this underneath but I had applied it like hours before and it's still shiny but I don't know if it's really this product because I've seen other people say like this was not like it was shiny at first but then because it's a stain it it like dries down. I haven't felt that so far and I have tried it 
um, another time without a lip oil underneath. I don't know. I like, I do like it, but I wouldn't say it's a lip oil. Like, I really wish they would have just called it, like, hydrating lip stain or, I don't, I don't know, something like that. <laughs> so that we wouldn't get confused, but I am liking it so far. And, like, I, I don't need another lip oil anyway, so it's fine <laughs> that it's not a lip oil. Um, yeah, so more to come on this, I guess, but I'm happy with the shade that I picked. And, yeah. There's that. This one was kind of like an impulse purchase. I got the Glowish Bright Light Sheer Concealer. I think I got this because sheer concealer sounds like something I like. I am wearing it today. I feel like it does not much. <laughs> it doesn't really do much at all. It is, as the name suggests, sheer. Um, but I got this specifically for my under eyes. I'm not going to use this as like a spot concealer or anything and I don't feel like it would work for that anyway. But I have a lot of concealers in my collection that I like. But nothing I really love under my eyes. Um, well aside from in my shop my stash right now I have the Fenty Eye Brightener and I've been really liking that. This is actually kind of similar, although it definitely, the other, the eye brightener has more pigment in it and it does brighten more, but I actually, it might be the shade that I have also. I got the shade Light and it's pretty much like a match for my face. I don't know though. It The description of this shade sounded best for me though, so I don't know if like a lighter shade would work better, but I just don't feel like it did much. I don't know. I'll have to keep trying it. Um, and I did read the box. It says to apply a small amount and tap to blend so I just tapped it with my finger I didn't use like a sponge or a brush or anything maybe with a brush you'd get more coverage I definitely would not use this with a sponge because I feel like the sponge will just absorb all the product let me swatch it for you I did did I say I got the shade light 03 even in a swatch you can tell it's sheer Cause like it doesn't have a full, why that's not going to focus. It doesn't like have full pigmentation. Like it's not opaque anyway, but I, I think it, it is what it says it is. So, I mean, obviously if you want a full coverage concealer, you're not going to buy something called sheer concealer probably. So yeah, just so you guys know, it definitely is sheer. <laughs> But it didn't do anything bad. Like it didn't make my under eyes look dry or cakey or anything. It just didn't really do anything. <laughs> I feel like this shade is like the exact shade of my skin. So maybe that's why also. But anyway, so I have this now. Another concealer in my collection. I feel like the lighting is terrible in this video, but anyway. I guess we'll move on to the eye products. So I got a eyeliner and you guys might be like, why did you get an eyeliner? You said you never use eyeliner in your makeup inventory video and that you have so many. <laughs> yes, but another product I was influenced to buy from Babs Beauty. This is from Too Faced. It's the killer liner in the shade Killer Pink. And I got this because I felt like, well lately I've been doing a lot of pink looks and I felt like this would go really well in the waterline with like pink, pink looks or rosy looks or anything really. And it would be like a fun brightener as opposed to just like a nude liner. Um, so I really wanted to try it and she said it was great and I am wearing it today. And I can tell you that it went on like super pigmented and opaque and it still looks good. And I've had, 
I mean, I kind of just put this makeup on, I don't know, like an hour ago. So I haven't been wearing it that long, but yeah, I feel like it still looks just like it did when I first put it on. Um, and she did say that she wasn't really impressed with the other shades of this eyeliner, but that this was the best one. So I can't speak to like the other shades of this killer liner, but I really like this one. It's a nice like light pink. And yeah, I really like it. It's, it really does brighten your eyes too. Um, so if you were looking for a colored liner, this one is really nice. And it didn't like tug or anything on the waterline. It's nice and smooth. So I am happy I picked this up too. And again, it's something I wasn't planning on getting, but it's always good to try new things when you get them on sale. I did get an eyeshadow palette. This one, the Pat McGrath mini eyeshadow palette in Sublime Smoke. So I got the other mini palette she released, um, the purple one. This one is more neutral. Let's actually just open this because I don't need to keep this big <laughs> baggy around. So if you guys were wondering, if you haven't seen these before, they are definitely mini, like it fits in the palm of my hand. <laughs> um, but I really like that she is doing these mini palettes and look how tiny the pans are but if you wanted to try Pat McGrath and you didn't want to splurge on like her full-size palettes which are like what a hundred and seventy dollars Canadian I think these are like the same shades that you get in those palettes this one specifically all these shades are pre-existing um, so it's not like she makes you know, a different formula and different shades to put in these so that they're cheaper. Like it's actually the same shade she has in her normal line. So that's why I think these are worth it because like who's going to go through a whole palette anyway, right? You like, I won't even go through this palette in my lifetime. So I'm happy to have this just to try more of her shades and it's a nice, obviously, neutral little six pen palette which would be great for like any any time of year and like day or night so yeah i thought this was a good buy even though i haven't used the other one yet <laughs> that i purchased but if she keeps coming out with these i'm probably going to get all of them because they're just so cute and yeah i also like that they're different colors so the other one was like a light purple and this one's like a coral so that's fun too. So I did have to get this. Um, another eye product I got. This is what I'm wearing today. I don't even know if it's showing up on camera because of how bad the lighting is right now. But I have this in my inner corners. This is a new brand to me also. It's the brand Kulfi. K-U-L-F-I. And they just released these... Um, what are they calling these? Zari Eyes Eyeshadows. They're very interesting. And I could not resist this shade. I think it was described as a chartreuse. But the shade is called Chamac Cello. I don't think I'm saying that properly. But, um... And that's not gonna focus. I don't know if you can see, but this is like, um, probably very similar to, here's, okay, that was not a lot, but it's like a moussey, gelatinous <laughs> kind of formula. I don't know, I just had to have it. And it's probably like the Jelly Munch shadows from ColourPop. I don't have any of those, but I feel like from what I've seen, that's probably what it is. But this is just so pretty. And I really just wanted it to do like what I did with it today, which is like a pop of color on the inner corner. But I would also put this like all over my eyes too. Um, yeah, I just could not resist the shade of this. I just hope it doesn't dry out because 
there is no like stopper or anything to cover it so we'll have to see how that goes but yeah so far really liking this um and it's kind of like duochrome-y it's kind of like a it goes to like a bright yellow almost like green anyway I'm probably not describing this well at all, but I did get this. And then I also got a face palette <laughs> from Cali Ray. I got the Endless Summer Shine Shade Shadow Palette. It's a clean, multi-purpose palette for eyes and cheeks. I'm wearing this today. I think I'm wearing everything on my face. So I was first attracted to this because of the packaging. It's a bamboo case and this is what it looks like inside. So obviously very neutral, very light, uh, nothing, you know, we haven't seen before, but I just liked the, how it was curated and you have like this. Well, basically everything here can be used for whatever you want to use it for. Like this is, it says on the back here what you can do with them. And this one, like I used, sorry, this I used as my blush today, but this says it's a blush or a transition shade. I use this as my highlighter and that says like it's a highlighter or a spotlight shadow. This says brow, that it's a brow bone or a brightening shade, but you can obviously do whatever you want. Like these two are meant to be eyeshadows, but I actually use this as bronzer. I just put my brush in both pens and it did like a nice warm bronzer. Um, yeah, so I did, yes, I did use everything in this palette. It is the eyeshadow I'm wearing too. And again, it's very light. It's more like a daytime vibe, I feel, for most people. Um, but this is something I would use like on a regular day. And yeah, I did not I did not need another face palette, as we all know. But I knew I would use this one. Um, like I'll probably use this to go to the office as well because it's just nice and like neutral. But it's still fun. Like this um, shadow here, it kind of has like a pink shift and I really like it um, and everything blended very nicely nothing was like um, dry or it's just like a nice soft formula too so yeah it was really easy to use um, my one complaint about it is well it's not really a complaint because they okay so you can see they're is no mirror and they put this sticker on it and it really bothers me <laughs> because the sticker is crooked and you can see like where it's glued like it's not very refined I guess for the price of this which is not cheap by the way I just feel like that could have been done better and then I was like also I know why there's no mirror. It's because this is a fully recyclable palette and mirrors are not recyclable. But then I was like, but why make a space for it? Um, and then, because it's like, did you like intend to put a mirror and then you forgot that it wasn't recyclable? <laughs> but So I looked into it and actually in the box, it's really cute. It says, don't look down here. And then when you do, there's like all this extra information, like how to use it. And there's like a QR code if you want to see a tutorial. But it also says, if you want a mirror, you can add one. Ours is reusable. So I was like, wait, so there is a mirror? And then I went back on Sephora. I was like, where's the mirror? I couldn't find it. I went on their website, didn't see a mirror. Finally, I don't know, I guess I went to the palette, I clicked on it and saw like the full details and it said they're making a stainless steel mirror coming soon. So that explains my complaint about there being a space for a mirror but not having a mirror. 
is because they're making a mirror. So I actually take my complaint back because I mean, it's still kind of weird to release this and be making a mirror, but the mirror's not ready and then you have to buy it separately later. It's kind of strange, but I also get it because you can't say this is recyclable if you put a mirror in it. Anyway, that was a long explanation. So depending if the mirror becomes available at Sephora, I actually might get it because it does really bother me to look at this crooked sticker in here. <laughs> Um, and I do like to have mirrors in my palettes um, and it would be nice like if you traveled with this to have a mirror in it so depending if that ever becomes available and I can get it in a Sephora I, I might pick it up also depending on the price I'm assuming it's not going to be cheap <laughs> um, but yeah I would add the mirror in here so but so far I do like this I it's not for everyone definitely um, also, if you have like a deeper skin tone than me, I mean, the deepest shade in here is this, um, like cool tone brown, which is saying that it's define and smolder shade. But yeah, everything else is quite light. Anyway, that's my thoughts on this so far. And that is actually, is that everything? Yeah, that's everything. I just to mention, I also bought my mom a Mother's Day gift. She already knows about it, so if she sees this video, it's not going to ruin <laughs> the surprise. But I did get her the Idol Aura perfume, just the roller, well not the roller ball. It's a spray, but you know, this size. Because we were smelling all the Lancome Idol varieties when we went on vacation, they had them at the airport and she really liked this one. So I told her I'd get it for her during the sale. So I did also get this, although it's not for me. And then I just have some samples, which I'm gonna add to my sample bag because I'm gonna do like a full face of samples because I have way too many of them and they're taking up a lot of room. But I managed to get a Tom Ford sample. This is actually the Traceless Soft Matte Primer. So that's fun. Um, I also got a sample of the new powder from Makeup Forever, the HD Skin, like the reformulated one. Um, you guys might know I really like the old one. So I was kind of disappointed when I saw they were reformulating it because I thought it was a good product already. But I've seen people saying they like this one even more. So this is the sample. It's just like the, you know, this kind of one-time use, I guess. So I am going to try this and see what the deal is. Um, and then I also got, when I went in store, so I did like online orders and I went in store. Actually, I went in store to get the Pat McGrath palette because it was out of stock online and then it came back in stock and then I was like well I'll just go get it at the store. Anyway when I was there they gave me this sample in my bag which is fun. This is the new MAC Locked Kiss Ink 24 hour lip color. So there's three shades here. It even comes with a little doe foot applicator. It does say on the back each sample is for a single use only probably because they're gonna dry out once you open them. So I will keep that sealed until I'm ready to try them. But I thought that was fun. And if you're confused why I have a MAC sample from Sephora, it's because they sell MAC at Sephora in Canada. I know in the US they don't. So yeah, we have MAC at Sephora. Is that it? Oh, and the last thing, I was very excited to see this sample, the Commodity Paper perfume because I don't know I think this is like popular in the fragrance community which I am not part of and I know nothing about <laughs> fragrance but I saw a lot of people talking about this when it um was released everyone seemed excited about it and it's like a nice sample um I do like it it smells very fresh it kind of reminds me of the clean skin um, perfume, which I love. It's that like nice, fresh, like 
you just came out of the shower scent, which I like. So I'm very excited to have this as a sample. Um, yeah, and other than that, I did get everything I wanted except for one thing. There is one thing I'm still waiting to see if it comes back in stock. It's actually a makeup organizer. I'll show it to you. And it's in the Sephora collection line, so it would be 30% off if it comes back before the sale. They just released it, and it's this Sephora collection. What are they calling this? Large Beauty Organizer. Look how cute that is. I must have it. <laughs> That's what it looks like open. So I'm really hoping, like I have notifications on for this to come back in stock. I'm really hoping it comes back before the sale because it's $59 and I'd really like to get 30% off of that. So that's the one thing I didn't get that I wanted. Um, I have some other things in my cart just for fun, but I don't think I'm going to get them because I don't need it right now. Um, but the K-Skin brand came to Sephora Canada like yesterday and I've been wanting their lip balm because it's SPF 30 and I heard it's like a nice shiny like glossy lip balm which I'm very excited to try but I don't need a lip balm right now. I also want to try the Ellis Brooklyn fragrances and they have a scent diary discovery set. This one. But again, I don't need, I don't even need samples of fragrances. I have so many. And then I was watching Patty Alonzo's haul video and she was using the NARS Afterglow Sensual Shine Hydrating Lipstick and it looked amazing. <laughs> so I put that on my loves list. I don't think I have the color that she was using. I want to get the shade Dolce Vita. This just looks like a beautiful, hydrating, shiny lipstick. I don't know why I'm showing you these photos because they're not really showing you <laughs> anything. But yeah, I don't, but I don't need it. So I don't think I'm going to do another order. The sale ends in like three days as I'm filming this. But yeah. Hopefully I'll get this video up before the end of the sale. So if you saw anything here that you're interested in and you want it, you can get it on sale um, while you still can. So if you like this video, I hope you liked it. Give it a like, um, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!